Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to your friendly neighbor noob. Of course, I'm friendly. We're back with another series. Today, we are doing hardcore World of Warcraft. That's right. We're jumping into World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, which they have their own servers for. Look, hardcore. Oh, I know. It's amazing. It's terrifying. And if you agree with me that it's terrifying, because we're going to be jumping into doing this entire series and we're going to see how long we can last, don't forget to like, subscribe. Share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And let's get into this series. Let's go. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back in Westfall. I hope we don't die in Westfall. I've also added a whole bunch of add-ons to help me. Because I, I have kind of missed out on a lot of the add-ons. Like bag on. Like simple things. Bag on and uh, questy and uh, the death log one. I can't remember. Oh. Oh, sad. And I've also added the, uh, the death logs just to kind of remind me, I feel, of, uh, what I could miss out on if I let myself die. So, we're going to now get some murloc eyes. We need murloc eyes for Westfall Stew. Um, and of course we need to kill these guys so the coast isn't clear. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure most of the coast isn't clear is too high of a level. But we can certainly do as much as possibly can because we have to level. We have to level. Leveling has to happen. We're almost level 13. I think all we have to do is kill this guy and we're level 13. Yeah! We did it. I feel so special. So yeah, we, we've had- oh my god. Cock the Sleeve, the Mage Gnome, uh, died at level 12. And No Mates, the Paladin, human, died at level 29 in Duskwood. Now, I'm actually- a, a, a Paladin died? I just- I'm in shock, in a way, because Paladons have, like, shields and heals, and it's, 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 it's a little more shocking for me, because I, I main, used to main a Paladin, and I now main a Priest again, but I know how easy it is to not die as a Paladin. Just, like, get away from things. In PvP, you're pretty much effed, but <laughs> everything else is actually really easy, so I, I was like, oh, shit, wow. Uh, Warlocks aren't too bad. They're in the mid-range. The hardest, supposedly, I've been asking around is Warrior. The hardest is Warrior. I've been told the mid-range is, uh, the easy one. Actually, let's, let's go through. Let's go through. So, I've heard that Druid is pretty easy. I've heard that people have been having a lot of, uh, fun with Druid. I've been told that Hunter has been pretty easy too, unless you're trying to, like, get a really hard mount, which is rare. Um... Mage, very easy. Uh, Paladin, easy. Priest, I've been told is hard. Uh, just just because they don't do that much damage, they're definitely more healer in this game. Ooh, sword. Pretty. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what's the next one? Rogue, I've been told is pretty mid. Shaman, I've been told is pretty mid. Uh, Warlock has been pretty mid. And Warrior is hard. So there's like two hards, four easies, and probably three mids. Or four mids? Three mids. Three mids. Yeah. But there are more easy ones than there are hard when it comes down to it. Because with Druid and Paladin, you have a lot of heals. With Mage, you have a lot of, like, interrupts and stops and you can teleport away. With Rogue, you've got Vanish and stuff like that. And it does a sheet ton of damage. So I, I feel like there's a lot of ways to survive as a Rogue. Uh, but there is the issue of not being able to heal. Or I don't know of any healing ability, which would suck. Was it 50th dead? Oh, wow. 333rd de deadliest in Azeroth. They actually put the average of people who die. Uh, that's, that's kind of scary. These ones are 50th. People actually die to these quite decently. I want to look at the, the, uh, what's it called? The gnolls? Because I'm pretty sure they would be higher up on the list. And maybe spiders? Oh, no. Blind Hunter, the Night Elf Hunter, has been slain. Sorry, buddy. Wait, what was he slain by? Uh, he was slain by... It doesn't say. Like, everything else has, like, what it's slain by. Killed by a Dethus Pillager. It doesn't actually say what they were killed by. But that's disappointing. They even had a guild and everything. L L Litty Committee. Oh, that's a really cool name. It's sad to see someone, like, put in the effort. Especially that 29, uh, Paladin. That would have been painful. I, I feel for that guy. The level 12 and the level... Yeah, the two level 12s. I don't feel, like, too bad for them. It sucks, but they, it's only going to take them about, you know, I don't know, four hours, five hours to get back up to 12 if you're doing it casually. I don't know how long it would take if you're doing it like speed run, but uh, I'm at level 13. I think I've spent like five hours. 
Five, six hours? And I've been pretty chill. I've been pretty chill. I've just been doing- Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Shit, this could be it. This could be it for me. This could be it for me. I think this is it for me. Oh no. Yeah, it's it. I'm dead. Yeah, there we go. I died at level 13. Oh no. No, no, no. All because two popped up. I didn't even see them coming. I was too busy paying attention to talking. There we go. Willow's the human warlock was slain by Murloc coastal coast runners at level 13. Experience. Unfortunately, I'm dead. Willow's is dead. She is gone. She is down for the count. Uh, I probably, I, as I said, I'd only go for as long as I lived, which I only made it to level 13. I didn't even make it close to 21. I'm a little disappointed because I, I, I was really enjoying myself. I was actually kind of enjoying the experience. I think if I did it again, I would go with this character, Madigan. I would go my Paladin, because I love Paladins so much. They're probably one of my f favorites. Um, I would go with Blacksmithing and make my own gear. I'd go really hard into that. And I wouldn't be progressing through uh, leveling as much as I did for this. I only progressed through leveling as much because for the video, for the content. But if, if I was to do it again, if I was to do it again, I would not focus so much on the content. I would not focus so much on the content. I'd be focusing on survival and what I can do and what I can't do. Just that kind of vibe. You know, sometimes you really have to focus on your strengths and weaknesses. And one of mine is paying attention to pats, patrols. But anyway, guys, I really want to say thank you for being part of this experience. I have always said that World of Warcraft Vanilla was one of my least favorites. Uh, like, because you can classify it as, like, number one. Everyone says, oh, Vanilla is my favorite, blah, blah, blah. Vanilla's in my top three. Vanilla was never in my top three. I didn't get that social experience. I got a lot of the toxicity of Vanilla at the start, because being a, a gay guy, uh, when we did voice chat stuff, I'd be called quite a few names back then, and it was more acceptable to be, you know, kind of a, a, a homophobic back then. I don't care so much about the jokes. It's just with the with your intent. If you make gay jokes, I'm cool. But if you make gay jokes to hurt me, I'm not going to be so cool. So yeah, if you're, if you're, you're going to be like something, making a joke about me sucking D's, um, <laughs> D's nuts, um, I'm probably going to laugh. Uh, but yeah, it was just, I experienced that from the social aspect. I wanted a story. Vanilla never had a story. And um, I just, I felt very aimless. I felt like I was just doing quests for the sake of doing quests. Uh, the grind was a really irritating and the glitches were extremely rough. It was, it was like Bethesda games rough. So yeah, I feel that Classic cleaned up a lot of World of Warcraft vanilla. It made it more palatable for people such as myself and still gave the nostalgia. And then, you know, the hardcore gave me a goal. It gave me a direction. It gave me something to, like, it made made leveling and getting items feel even better because it was, it was, you know, necessary for my survival. But at the end of the day, I died at level 13. <laughs> I just died at level 13. Me bagging out level 12s and saying, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I am going to kind of continue on my, my probably on live streams. I'm going to go with my, my paladin, see how we do with him. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a live stream. If you want to watch more of this sort of content, more of World of Warcraft classic hardcore, you should probably rock up to one of my streams because we're going to be giving it another go. I'm going to leave Willows here as a remember uh, as like a remembrance of uh, my first attempt. I'm probably going to put her at the bottom. But uh, my my new one will be Madigan. As you probably know, if you've seen one of my World of Warcraft videos, Madigan is the name of my main on retail. And, and uh, I think it's Madigan and Kitsune. Um, but yeah, I'll see you very soon, guys. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighborhood noob community. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat spaghetti. And if you really like this video, please comment down below your experience of hardcore. What have you liked about it? What haven't you liked about it? Personally, I'm loving hardcore. I hate hardcore in most other games. I Minecraft is a nightmare for me, hardcore. But this was actually like so rewarding at every step because it had a goal and an aim and I was terrified at the thought of dead mines. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have some fun, go play some more of uh, the, this, this hardcore and I will see you in a live stream. So check it out and I'll see you very soon guys. Bye.